My name's Steve Leach. I've just won £75,000 on the Veterans Lottery. I'm an ex-military myself. Living in Stoke, it was either the potteries, coal mines, or join the forces. Because I was under the age of 18, my mum wouldn't sign the papers for joining the army, so I joined the Navy. She was happy for me to do that. After I'd done basic training, they came and said, who wants to earn extra money? We didn't know what they were all talking about, so we all said yes, we did. So we all went to uh, HMS Dolphin and joined the submarine service. The towering HMS Dolphin, 100 foot full of water. It's, it's adrenaline rush, it's like being on a roller coaster when you go in, put on your orange suit, and then you shoot up the line. It's like something that you've never done before. I was on HMS Renown. As soon as that access actually shut, it's just like normal days, really. You work, sleep, eat, drink. Then three months later, you come back and then be back as in civilian life. When you look back now, do, do, do you look back at that period with fondness? Oh, without a doubt. I made some amazing friends. We're still friends now, even though we don't see each other all the time. You know full well that if there's ever an emergency, you ring them, they'll be there. Are you proud of that period of time, that service? Being a teenager in the young 20s, it's, you don't sort of, at the time, feel that you're proud. We were young, but we knew we were having, we were doing something important. As we've got older, you reminisce and you think back, you think, yeah, I was really proud of what I did. What prompted you to join the Veterans Lottery, Steve? Uh, I'd just seen it on, uh, I think it was social media, Facebook, uh, about the Veterans Lottery and clicked on, saw what they were doing. I thought, yeah, that, that's for me, I'll, I'll join that. At the time, £10 was, was nothing. And then, of course, we had, then had COVID and all that sort of stuff. So I stopped, re-evaluated all the finances, sorted it all out. Then it, everything was back to normal again, so I rejoined straight away again. I kept getting these phone calls from Edinburgh. They'd left a message on, so I rang them back because they said it was a veterans lottery. And I was stood in the kitchen and she said, congratulations, you've won £75,000. So I started laughing. I got my wife to come in out of the garden, put it on speakerphone, uh, and I said, sorry, could you repeat that? And then the wife started laughing, thinking again, it was a scam and it was a joke. Uh, but she said, no, honest, you've won. This is true, you have won £75,000, congratulations. And you're speechless, aren't you, for, for a couple of seconds? You know, you're thinking, well, what can I do? Pay off all the debts, uh, give my sons some money so they can get set themselves up, donate some money back to the charity itself. That's only the decent thing to do, isn't it? I wasn't really playing it to actually win it, it was just a charity for something I believe in. What sort of person would I be if I was doing it for one reason and then taking the money and run and not giving back to what where it's come from in the first place? It, it takes a special sort of person to put the life on the line for the family, the country, king or queen at the time. And they deserve something in return, not just not just kicked to the side. It amazes me how many ex-forces are on the, on the streets, are homeless. It's the 21st century, that should never happen, full stop. But for somebody that's done what they've done for the country, it, it's, it's, it's an outcry. I was lucky I came out okay, uh, but many, many people don't. There are people out there with horrendous injuries that need the support. You know, and it's £10 a month, that's nothing. Like all the Olympians have been saying, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. and. As a person, I feel giving to the Veterans Foundation is something that we all need to do. If you would like to support British veterans like me and stand a chance of winning £75,000 like I did, please play the Veterans Lottery.